on the threshold of another general conference. The world and the church have changed significantly. Since I love the process. I love the way the church works. I like reading the legislation. I really I get excited by the workings of the church and, the, and seeing our connection work together in the global church. Judy Keniston truly enjoys serving the United Methodist Church, including in her current role as chair of the Commission on General Conference. And I turn back to Judy Keniston. Good morning. The Rules Committee worked late into the night. So when delegates from all eyes. over the world gather in Portland, Oregon in May of 2016, what Keniston will see eight years of work come together. I have prayed for General Conference every day. From, from the moment I was asked to chair the commission, I knew I couldn't do it without God's help. The commission sets the location and vision for general conferences years ahead and decides the speakers and the schedule leading up to each event. Keniston serves on all the committees, visioning, program, and rules. The rules that we now consider are the labor of all of these people. When a decision is made by the commission, it's my role to interpret that to, to the church. That's one of the, the challenges, how you do that and how you deal with the, the different spins that go out when, when a decision is made and then a group interprets it differently than we intended or reads a motivation into what we were doing that wasn't intended to be there. Keniston works full time as the West Virginia Annual Conference Secretary, chairing the commission as a volunteer. 2016 will be her fourth time at General Conference, which over the years has become a family affair. Keniston's husband and eldest daughter were also serving in Tampa in 2012. For this General Conference, my husband's going to be a marshal, and um, our son, who is a Global Mission Fellow, will be, um, will be there in two capacities, one um, with the Global Ministry and the Global Missions Fellows, and then he's also the Reserve Lay Delegate from our annual conference. The family blogged from Tampa to give the folks at home a feel from the floor. I didn't talk about legislation so much, but more this is what I'm seeing, these are the people, these are the reports we're hearing. And it was my perspective, but I, that was my way of keeping them connected. Technology at General Conference has changed a lot since Keniston was elected in 2008. The commission has implemented major advancements like tablets and simultaneous translations to improve communication across many languages. We began to use the headsets and to do simultaneous interpretation makes a huge difference because the person speaking is speaking, you know, you're listening to them as they speak, I see what they're saying, I see their facial expressions, I can tell when they're a little uh, angry about something or if they're, you know, if they're passionate about something, it shows in their face. The commission members said, can't we do this at General Conference? I will go off the commission at the end of General Conference. Bishop, I move sections 11 through 13. The work that you do in that time, is, it is very intense and demanding, but it's also very rewarding and I've, I've really enjoyed it. I've had a wonderful opportunity to, to serve the church in this way. This video was brought to you by the people of the United Methodist Church through world service donations.